can't move it. So I was drinking milk the other day because, well, you know, milk helps my drug. Um, and I couldn't help but notice that they stopped the donation, like the missing people on the back of the milk cart. Did you guys notice that? Mm -hmm. And um, I, I think they should still do that, but we should organize it better. You know, maybe put uh, obese people on the back of cream. Or uh, <laughs> maybe put Jews on the back of skim. <laughs> Gay stream <and> total. <laughs> And if you're like me, where you're like mixed, you're like half Asian and half white, uh, then you can go on the back of half and half. <laughs> I personally want to be on the back of, actually I want to be on the back of two Sixers and box the fire, so I'm found by fun people, please. <laughs> <laughs> How's everyone doing tonight? Yeah. Uh, that's good to hear. Um, on the way over here, I uh, carpooled with a friend. And this actually really pisses me off is the shocking rule. And I know you guys know about it. I'm not going to explain where it comes from. But it really pisses me off. And so whenever my friends, if I'm standing beside a car and I yell shotgun, and some of my friends come across the parking lot and yell shotgun, I'll just yell Rosa Parks and sit in the front where it refuse to move. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that joke because it kind of leads into like racism in areas. Um, and we as a people, you know, racism is dying, and that's a good thing. But it's not done, it's not, it's not over. And so we as a people, you know, come together and stop segregating whites and darks in our laundry. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I would usually go into like a, a speech about, about Mark, some Martin Luther King speech, but my friend actually told me to not use that because some people might get offended. Um, and as a comedian, it's hard to not cream of the place, that's to say, I guess, but like, <laughs> you know, the taste will give, you know, good stereotypes, positive, and it's hard to walk a fine, fine line, but uh, I find myself always saying dumb things. Like last week I was uh, at the Szechuan place, uh, Szechuan Palace, sorry, uh, in Chinatown, and uh, on the table there was menus, and it said horse, little description, <laughs> it said dog, and it said like rabbit, and I asked the server, I was like, is that menu, and he looks at me, he's like, that's the Zodiac. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy, the table next to me was like, like they, they, they looked like, pretty angry when, when the guy said that. And I was like, no man, like, don't really understand. I was kind of looking forward to trying to drag him too. Like I said, I'm always saying dumb shit. About a year ago, uh, I, I was doing a set, and uh, I was talking about Monopoly. And uh, all the different types of monopolies that they have out there. And I think I was talking about Black Edition. Have you guys ever tried Black Edition Monopoly? Anyone here? No? It's all right. It's a little frustrating because every space is going directly to jail. <laughs> <laughs> so immediately this black guy, right over, you know, among the crowd, on a day with the wake of this white girl, puts his arms together and just mean about me the whole show. And at the end of the show, I was at the bar getting a drink, and he comes up to me paying his tab, and he's like, yo, man, that was, you know, that was, I was racist, I didn't like that joke. And I was like, yo, see, seriously, I did not mean to offend you. That's not how I wanted to come across. Um, like, I didn't think it was racist at all. Like, I didn't, like, I did not think it was racist at all. I didn't say anything about, you know, being guilty. I just said, you know, black people tend to uh, get picked on with this lot and go to jail. And, and that's where the conversation should have stopped. Instead, I was like, uh, if there was a black character in a clue, or the game would be called Salt. <laughs> <laughs> but luckily for me, I'm, I'm part Asian, and all really, Asians know karate, so I was okay. So you know, it's okay. <laughs> um, another bad one is the end bomb. A guy at my work always drops the end bomb. He's like, what's up, buddy? You know, I'm not going to say it, but you know, I have black friends, and I talk with them, but this guy, I don't really know it. It's kind of awkward at work if I drop it, and I don't want to make it awkward, so. About a week ago, I saw him and I was like, Antonio, what up, my ninja? And he's like, oh, my ninja, my ninja, my ninja. And I was like, no, man, you can't use that word. That's my people's word. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, both of us. <laughs> um, I don't, like I said, I don't have time up here, so I'll be quick. I, I'll leave with one final thought. Um, the only race that should be labeled are the races with finish lines. All that and uh, race horses, of course.
Um, if I had a racehorse, I would name it my face. Like, it doesn't have to be a winner or anything like that. I just, I would love to see all those people scream, come on my face, that's just funny. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.